right. Well, good morning, everyone. It's uh, well before the sun comes up. We have got two days left of summer, and we have a couple of really, really busy days coming up. So, cup of coffee. We're going to start by uh, taking care of our friends, the cows. Because uh, it's going to be a little while before we can get back to them. We just need to make sure they can hold on. Because once we're done with hay, oh, which is what we're doing today, we're going to mow down some hay for them. And once we're all done with that, we have to do silage. Which... Looks like it's going to happen Saturday. Although the rain is kind of making me nervous. But yeah, priority number one is uh, once we have hay. Oh, hang on a second. Let's just turn that off. Once we have the hay, we need to um, get that silage in before we get the wheat in because the wheat's unimportant to us. We just want the straw. And silage goes for about $15,000 for us to be able to supply our cows. So that's the high value crop. We need to get that corn in. So let's see here. Right now, all our grass is showing as ready to harvest in stage two. If I had an extra day, I'd let it go to stage three and give us more yield but i don't have that time i don't have that luxury today um i got to get that done because we need to harvest the corn while it's still green because we're using it for silage we don't want it to get to full maturity and then by then we're hoping that our wheat field will come online followed by our canola field the canola field frankly is a low low priority or sorry the soy field is a low low priority because that was just for us to make some money. So if that doesn't pay off because of all the rain that's coming, then so be it. Right now our cows need a little bit of attention. We're go we've cleaned them out. So this is gonna catch up to us eventually. We're gonna give them a little bit of water and then we're going to give them a little bit more grass. No, we're gonna leave that alone. I'll do that tonight. Uh, I still have a little bit of power food left over in the wagon, but I'm out of uh, hay, so after today, we'll, we'll have tethered gra tethered grass, and I'll be able to make them some power food. And tonight, at the end of the day, I'll get them all up to full maximum. But you can see here, we're up to 42 cows, and we just had another calf. So by the, by the next two days, we might get pretty close to that 50 cow goal. So I'm pretty excited about that. Financially, well, things are a little rough. Um, we did manage to sell $12,000 worth of milk uh, last night. So that went out pretty good. Um, we're still getting water costs, which is weird because I'm supposed to be getting free water from the map. Um, we'll see. And then um, what else? Uh, our, loan and, our loan payments are still pretty high. I've got $71,000 right now, but we're gonna have to hire people to help us out with this harvest. And I need to buy equipment and I need to lease equipment. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm not repaying any of that through that thing. Once we get our crops in, as soon as we get uh, the, um, the wheat in, the wheat will pay some of that off. So that'll be fine. And if we can get that field of soy uh, harvested, that'll go a long way to reducing our cost or, or, or reducing our loan. So yeah, so let's see here. So I am going to give them a little bit, another bucket of water. And I, I might, you know, 3,000, they, they'll be fine for today with 3,000. I just want to make sure they don't run out of water. Lights on, gotta kill the battery. 
Okay. Let's just grab our water bucket here. Ah. Well, that's not a good start to my day. It's okay. Not broken. It'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead down the hill and grab ourselves some water. Oh, the girls are still asleep. How cute is that? Let's see if we can sneak in and not wake them up. Not here. We gotta go over here. Well, it looks like I've got another fourteen or twelve thousand liters of milk to sell. So, again, they come and pick up at midnight. So, oh, we woke her up. Sorry, buddy. Okay. not quite coming out yet so maybe I should unload the rest of that wagon for them even the chickens are lying down it's so early oh everybody's waking up now sun's up I can hear them coming alive. Alright, get ourselves the PTO connected. Okay. Oh, she came in for breakfast. There you go, we'll just dump in the last of this ration. Just had a little bit left over in the machine. Almost there. Okay, we're good. Okay, well now that the sun's come up, just unhook this guy. And whoop. Sorry. Now, next couple of days we need our little case here working full up, so just gonna do a quick tune up on it. to make sure nothing breaks down. We're really dependent on this little machine. We got the big guy, but, you know, in terms of everyday workhorse, this little guy here does most of what we need. So, 39 bucks. Okay, so just a filter change and check the belts and that stuff. It should be fine.
Okay, that'll be fine. I gotta remember that I still have some grass in that uh, that little Amazon, but for now, we'll leave it there. We'll be able to get grass right out of the field and fill up the trough before the day is over. Okay, I gotta head down to town and get myself a mower and then get in that backfield and uh, take care of the grass. So, so far it looks like a beautiful day. Let's see if they're open. That field is looking really close to being ready for silage. I'm thinking one more day of growth, and then on the first day of fall, we're gonna take care of silage first. We can't let it get to full 100%, or it'll be too dry to make proper silage from. Here's another little field that if we get really stuck, if we have some extra time tonight, we'll mow and tether that one too. Oh yeah, um, I'll come and see her this afternoon. Okay, before we get started, uh, I just don't want to run out of gas today. I just don't have time for it. So let's get her filled up. There you go. The great thing about this little tractor is it costs us nearly nothing in fuel. It's such a small tank and such a small engine. Okay, I'll leave the lights on. Now we need a mower. Because we've got the big case, we could go and pick up this big $17,000 mower. These are fantastic. It's got an awesome um, four meter working width and I love working with these, but I think that's something we can grow into. We don't need one just yet. What I've done is I've gotten used to working with this guy. So I'm gonna buy that one. Okay, and while we're here and we've got everybody's attention, let's get a tether. So this is the cheapest tether in game, which is really good, um, but that's $11,000. What I want is the cheap and cheerful. I'm looking at this one from Mod Central, SOB. Um, fantastic little tether. Um, only a 2.7 meter working width, but for what we're doing, we're not making a massive amount of hay. That will be just about perfect. And we're going to buy that one too, because that's something we're going to do on a regular basis is feed our cows. It's quite possible that we might get another chance, if it's not too wet by the end of the season, to make more hay out of those fields. We might get a second cut in this year. Because once we get into the fall, the growth just goes on to the on mode, and we might get two harvests at it. So hang on. So, God goes on. Might as well put the PPO on it now. Lift her up. Perfect. We'll be back for that guy later. It can wait right here for us. Or we might actually get them to uh, drop it off this afternoon if they can. I'll give, uh, I'll give the owner a, a call and maybe they can do us a favor and drop it off at the farm. We'll see. You know what? I'm thinking about it. I'm going to mow this field. Because I'm here now and I don't want to have to bring the mower all the way back down again if I decide not to use it. So we're just going to go for it. Okay. Get our old friend Mr. Cruise Control on. on this tractor is probably just a hand throttle. Try to stay as close to these trees as we can. And round and round we go. Then 
And all you do is you get on top of the uh, cut grass and follow the path like a corkscrew and concentric circles right down to the middle. Because this is an offset mower, there's really no point in trying to do ups and downs. We'll get them all straightened out with the rake at the end of the process. Good. All right, easy McDeasy. Now I'm thinking I might just drop this mower here and Ted this field right away. And also we can, uh, we can attach the mower to the front of the machine and get everything up in one shot instead of having to do a midday trip back down for it. Again, this one's not gonna have the largest work area, but we have all day. Today, if we get all the mowing and tedding done today, then by midday tomorrow, everything will be dry and we can start bailing it up. Okay. Ah, oh, we can't do it because we brought the weight with us. Hmm. Okay, so we will have to leave that guy here. Come back for him. There we go. That's too bad. I was just thinking about it while I was doing it, not beforehand, so. No biggie. And lots of mowing before that becomes an issue. Okay, with that, off to the farm we go. I'll see you guys up there. Okay, we'll start by doing this small field over on this side. I'm thinking also that this winter what we will do is we'll come back in here and I'll get rid of all the trees along this fence and all the trees that are encroaching in the field and we'll turn this into a 
an arable field or a grass pasture, but that's fertilizable. I think that by the end of next year, we'll probably be at uh, 100 cows, 150 cows. We're not going to be able to have them survive just with the meager fields that we have now. We'll get that done. But this year, we'll just try to get as much of it as we can without wasting too much time. I don't know about you guys, but I find this part of the farming extremely pleasurable. There's just sort of a trance you get into when you're following these mode paths around the field. You get into a rhythm. It's really, really nice. And at the end of, you know, two days work, you should have enough hay to feed your animals for a whole year. It is going to be a long day, though. It just gets to the point where these angles get a little too steep when you're doing triangles. And um, trying to follow them, you just end up making a mess of the corners. So typically what I'll do is I have a, if I have a pointy one like that, I'll try to make it a little bit more pointy. Now if I have an angle here that's uh, less than 90 degrees on the turn, what I'll do is I'll just turn into it a little bit and then just do a little pirouette at the end of the field here just to come back at it straight trim down the edge of it come back at it turn and there you go it's the kind of thing that is quite easily doable if you're using a steering wheel and track IR and stuff like that if I was using a mouse and doing it in third person and mouse and keyboard, I don't think it would be worth it. See, I can't make that as a turn, so up. Uh, try not to hit the tree. And come back. Just a little dance I like to do with the side mowers. It's gotten narrow enough that it doesn't warrant the big turn. I'll just turn normally, just come back and enter the grass in a straight line. Three fields are now 
done. Now the big guy. Oh, it's only nine o'clock in the morning, so we got all that done. So as long as we can get this field cut by noon, we'll be able to go down, get our header, and be in really great shape today for everything to be nice and dry for bailing tomorrow. Oh, I did add these little trees here too. Just to uh, cover up the backside of this barn. Just a little bit more landscaping than I did yesterday after I left you guys. When it comes to tracing the edge of the field like this, nothing beats first person to get as close to these trees as possible. Everything underneath my tractor right now is being crop destructed, so... But this will give me the maximum amount of space I need to be able to... Should have gotten rid of that tree, I think. Would have made a much nicer line. But, you know, it happens. Actually, that tree is kind of bugging me. I'm going to cut through here. And I'll be back tonight to cut it down. This whole process of mowing a field like this requires a little bit of concentration. But that being said, it kind of keeps you focused and flowing and I don't know, there's just something extremely therapeutic about that. Gradually your turns get tighter and the field gets smaller, the edges get wider. You don't even really perceive it happening because you're so focused on where that front wheel is in comparison to your uh, to your last pass. So there's something about that that's extremely relaxing. There's many a time when I've spent hours and hours just doing this and had no notion of the passage of time. It's a good thing if you're playing a game. Not sure what it would be like in real life. It's hard to tell when you're going around and around in the circles like this, but every now and then I look up and realize that the field is slowly but surely disappearing on me. There is an amazing sense of accomplishment to doing it this way. 
It's the extra hard way. The great thing about this setup is that this field is going to be all hay, and all that hay is going into that barn right there. So when it comes time to bailing it and putting it away, this is going to be perfect. Same with the straw, it's just in the field back there, so getting it over here and putting it away in storage is going to be pretty damn efficient. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Only three or four more passes, and this will all be gone. Kind of unfortunate. I was, you know, really enjoying this. I'm not talking a whole lot, but I'm in the zone. Maybe a sliver here. But other than that, pretty good. Not sure what that thing's doing there, but that's not useful to us. And just like that, we're all done. Wow. Okay, so we will grab a little bit of this fresh grass for the cows now. this guy here for a little while. Might as well give everything a little bit of a wash. While I'm here, turn off the lights, because that's just wasteful. Okay. We'll just put this guy here for a second. And go get our Kramer. We'll just grab a couple of bucket loads for the girls. And full. Good. Nice full bucket for them. There we go. 
How did that work out for her? Could probably afford to throw another one in there but we've got the small lawnmower so maybe on a rainy day when it's raining out and we can't harvest something we'll fill them back up again all right maybe a bit too close to the fence those fences are aggressive the Kramer out because before the day is over I'm gonna need to do the same thing with some hay and I'm gonna make them some mixed ration tonight when I'm done tending everything but I feel like that's enough for now we've uh, we've pretty much mowed everything we can mow so that will uh, need all to be tedded and then we can um, maybe bring some stuff in and top up the cows with everything and then we'll be waiting for silage season so I'll leave you here I'm gonna go get the tedder and I'll see you tomorrow or this afternoon